So if you're new to Silkit, I think one of the things that will um, perplex you maybe when you get started is how do I change the favicon for my website? So as you can see here, I've got that little icon that shows up. Um, it was just kind of a placeholder icon that I put here as I was building my Halifax Carnivores website. And uh, if we head over here to favicon.io, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get this to work. So all I do, actually here, let's back up a step. Let's just go straight back to uh, here. Okay, this is going to be where you land for favicon.io. You want to go from an image to an ICO file. And you just want to grab whatever icon you want to turn into an icon. So once you drag and drop it, you'll see it appear here. You hit the download button. And then once you've downloaded that um, file, you want to put it inside of a folder inside of static. So I've just created a folder called favicon. And you can see here, I've placed all those icons inside of that folder. Now don't change the names of anything that you see in here. You want to keep all these naming schemes the same because you'll notice you also have this site.webmanifest folder that has all of the, um, the naming schemes going on in here. And this is going to be useful in just a second. So head over to your app.html. I'm going to show you something really quick. So you can see by default, it does use the old uh, Svelte kit. Um, Favicon. I think the original is actually a PNG. I changed it here to ICO because I was just using this um, kind of, like I say, this dummy one in place while I was building it. I'm ready to replace that now, but we're going to keep this line here for just a second. And I'll show you why. Over here from favicon.io, after we've finished with the converter, you come down a little bit further and it's got this handy little installation uh, section. So we want to copy that. Let's head over here, paste it. And so you can see now for different screen sizes in different instances, your, um, your page is gonna be looking for your icons and they're named accordingly. Um, but we need to just copy this one little bit right here. And you'll also remember that I have the folder favicon at that root level inside of static. So we wanna take Svelkit assets favic slash favicon with those little, uh, percentage signs on either side, and I'm just going to paste it right in front of all of these URLs. And I can delete this right here. Okay, let's save that. Let's go check out our live site. You can see there, it's updating. So it's updated live. I remember this is an icon that still exists inside of my app. It's inside of my images folder. Um, so that's not going to change. We're just talking about that little favicon up there. And now if you were to save this to your home screen, if you were on Android or iOS, uh, that favicon will save properly, um, depending on the screen size and everything else, to that uh, home screen icon, which I think is pretty cool. So this is a super simple way to get that favicon icon uh, working both on the top of the browser and also uh, working within mobile devices. So hope this was helpful.